First, though, tonight we're in the middle of hurricane season and it is busy right now. So let's get to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins, who is tracking the tropics for you tonight. There's a lot going on out there, Bobby. Sure is, Allison. All the updates come down at about 5 p.m. They actually come down around 4.50, 4.55. Just a minute ago, got the data for tropical depression 14. Both are still depressions. Let's take you live out to the big picture right now. And this is a pretty interesting map right here because you see both 13 and 14. Both of those headed towards the Gulf of Mexico by Monday or Tuesday of this upcoming week. So certainly on the busy side, as you've been alluding to there. Right now, it looks like they're going to stay as tropical depressions for this evening. Let's take a live look right now down towards tropical depression 13. Now, this is the one I think that we have to watch a little bit closer because this one, look at that, could be a minimal Category 1 hurricane by Monday evening near Miami and then coming right across the southern part of the state, including just about right over Tampa here by Monday night into Tuesday morning. Now, things are going to change, and I'll talk about that coming up my full forecast, but you can see the forecast models here for 13. Some good news there. They're actually starting to trend a little bit towards the east, which would be good news and make that turn. Uh, but right now, we have to plan that. We're going to have a pretty good chance to see at least a tropical storm in the area. Now, here's the second wave. This is 14, tropical depression 14. It is forecast to strengthen likely tomorrow morning as well into a tropical storm. Both of these will get names. Laura and Marco are the two names coming up on the list. It's hard to tell, guys, which one's going to get the name first at this particular point. But you can see the forecast models for that do take it up into the central Gulf of Mexico. It's 2020. It wouldn't be 2020 if we didn't have two systems in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time. Tropical storm watches have been extended into Puerto Rico. I'll show you a closer view of that, and we'll talk local weather with some of those thunderstorms that are out there in just a little bit. 